It's been about a year since the mysterious interstellar asteroid, or maybe comet, Oumuamua passed through our solar system. It was going so fast, and it was so far away that astronomers could see very little before it was off and away into deep space again. The strange motions of the object as it zipped through the solar system have left astronomers puzzled about what it is, and some interesting theories are continuing to come out to explain it. And one really extreme idea is that it could be a solar sail sent from another civilization. I'm sure you've heard the news already. A team of astronomers from Harvard University are proposing that Oumuamua wasn't in fact an interstellar asteroid, but it was actually a solar sail sent by aliens. And in this video, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to explain what the genuine mystery is and why they proposed this in the first place. But I'm also going to give you context and I hope, hope, that I'll give you a tool to help you digest news stories like this so you can walk the fine line between being an alien hyping conspiracy theorist and a joyless buzzkill. Like I said, it's a fine line. We need to walk here. Okay, let's get into the news. Now, we did a whole video on Oumuamua, so I'll put a link right here so you can get a backgrounder on this mysterious object. But the gist is that about a year ago, astronomers using the PanSTARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii spotted an object moving quickly through the solar system on a trajectory that was interstellar. This means that it came from outside the solar system, fell into the sun's gravity well, and then zipped back out into deep space. Astronomers only had a few weeks to do any observations, and the best that they could do was to see that it was tumbling, changing in brightness from our perspective. Now this led astronomers to assume that it was an asteroid with a cigar-like shape, or a rama shape, where it was 10 times as long as it was wide. All the pictures you've seen are just artistic renderings. What it really looks like, from our perspective, is just a dot. As the object was speeding out of the solar system, astronomers tracked its deceleration as the sun's gravity was slowing it down, but not enough to trap it. And they found that it had an unusual motion. Instead of the smooth deceleration that they expected, it was slightly less slower than it should be. Now this isn't a big deal. We see this all the time with comets. They're venting gas through their interaction with the sun, and this acts like little thrusters on board the comet that push it back and forth along its orbit. But comets are surrounded by a coma of gas and can spread a highly visible tail, which Oumuamua didn't have. And here's the heart of the mystery. It came from interstellar space. It looks like an asteroid, but it moves like a comet. So what is it? All of the scientific proposals essentially examined every shape, structure, and material across the comet-asteroid spectrum. What's the perfect object that can change in brightness like astronomers observed, which is outgassing to produce the trajectory they measured, which doesn't generate a visible cometary coma? Radio astronomers studied it to search for any signals, you know, just in case it was an alien spaceship. No luck. Step in Shmuel Bali and Avi Loeb from Harvard University to try and figure out if there was some really unusually shaped structures that could account for the motion. Now, instead of getting its trajectory from outgassing, it could be getting a boost from solar radiation. When photons from the sun strike an object like a spacecraft, they impart a tiny little momentum. If the surface area of the object is big enough and it's light enough, then it can get a significant acceleration. For example, a solar sail. And engineers are working on several versions of this technology right now. In fact, the Planetary Society is planning to launch their Light Sail 2 spacecraft later this year, getting a free ride to orbit on board a Falcon Heavy rocket with a larger US Air Force satellite. I'm a huge fan of solar sails. We've seen how using light pressure allowed NASA's crippled Kepler spacecraft to continue to discover thousands of exoplanets. We can see future missions using a backup solar sail to help them do station keeping at Lagrange points or changes in orbit. A really exotic idea is that solar sails could allow us to send probes to other stars. 
Avi Loeb and the team from Breakthrough Starshot have proposed that powerful lasers could provide a blast of acceleration to a solar sail probe, allowing it to zip out to another star at 10% the speed of light. And now, as you can see, the story comes full circle. Loeb and his team looked at the trajectory and characteristics of Oumuamua and wondered if solar radiation pressure could account for its movements. They ran the math, and it turns out that yes, if you had an asteroid that was a few millimeters thick, but hundreds of meters long, it would match what astronomers saw. Of course, in the harsh environment of deep space with all its solar radiation, interstellar gas, micrometeorites, and more, it would be extremely difficult for a wafer-thin asteroid to survive for the millions and billions of years that it's been around for. So the team suggested that maybe it could be of artificial origin. Not that it's aliens, but that you can't rule out aliens yet. Is this starting to sound familiar? We saw this with the non-megastructured Tabby Star, and I'll get into the controversy in a second, but first, I'd like to thank Joe Sixpack, Jer, Jonathan Bennick, Stephen Richards, Tim O'Toole, Steve Wolfhope, Matt Peltz, Justin Scott, Stephen Ludking, Awanash Mishra, Teresa Littlefield, and the rest of our 818 patrons for their generous support. If you love what we're doing, you want to get in on the action, head over to patreon.com slash universe today. When I saw this study come out on the archive pre-press web server, I jumped on it. We published a story on this back on Halloween, and this kind of thing is absolutely like catnip to me. Of course, I encouraged our writer to focus on the science and not say that it's aliens. Essentially, the gist is what I've given you here. That said, the mainstream media picked up the story too, and they've been a lot less careful in their approach. And whenever you get the mainstream media misrepresenting a story, you get a backlash from scientists saying that it's ridiculous to say that it's aliens, that people who report on the story should be ashamed. And I'm sure people are staring daggers at Avi Loeb right now for even putting his name on the paper. They're not saying it's aliens. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're certain it's not aliens, just like the mysterious dimming of Tabby Star turned out to be a perfectly predictable dust cloud and not an alien megastructure. Until they got the confirmation they needed to positively identify a dust cloud, they couldn't rule out an alien megastructure. Oumuamua is on its way out of the solar system. Now we could theoretically quickly build a probe to catch it in the next couple of years, blast it into space atop a Falcon Heavy set to maximum thrust, and within the next couple of decades or so, we could catch up to it. And we totally should, but of course we won't, which means that we're not going to discover anything else about it, which means that it'll always remain a mystery. Well, unless another object comes along with the same behavior. Although it would be awesome, if it was a solar sail, boom, intelligent civilizations discovered, our work is done here, it's most likely that there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. For example, maybe it was outgassing all along, just astronomers couldn't detect it, or uneven heating on it was causing thermal radiation to give it an unpredictable acceleration. The Pioneer anomaly turned out to be something similar, where the heat given off from its power source was uneven, causing it to slightly accelerate towards the sun by one extra kilometer per hour over 10 years. After Bailey and Loeb put out their paper, the mainstream media had a field day, reporting breathlessly that Harvard scientists were suggesting Oumuamua was made by aliens, and the science community was mildly annoyed that such a remote possibility with absolutely no evidence supporting it. In these situations, just because you can't rule something out doesn't mean that it's likely to happen, and journalists like myself just can't resist reporting on it. Here's the thing, Dr. Loeb and his team are considered some of the best astrophysicists in the business. When the Event Horizon Telescope needed someone to simulate what the event horizon of a supermassive black hole might look like, Loeb and his group helped out. Nobody questions Loeb's mad astrophysics skills. And personally, I'm grateful that Loeb is willing to risk his reputation to entertain these kinds of what-if scenarios. What kind of life might be possible under the ice on Europa? Could fast radio bursts be explained by aliens using lasers to accelerate their spacecraft? Could life have formed in the early universe when everywhere had just cooled down to room temperature? When the entire universe was in the habitable zone? And I can see the scientist's point. 
The work of scientists is already under so much criticism, and these kinds of stories don't help. But I also love to think about aliens. I love to imagine what's out there and share ideas and dream big over a pint with my friends. And that's the tone that I try to set here on my YouTube channel. So, is Oumuamua a solar sail from an alien civilization? Almost certainly, absolutely not. But can't rule it out, but there's no evidence that it is. But solar sails are an amazing technology and we should seriously consider them here in the solar system. Well, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Once a week, I gather up all my space news into a single email newsletter and I send it out. It's got pictures, brief highlights about the story and links so that you can find out more. Go to universetoday.com newsletter to sign up. And all of my videos are also available in a handy audio and video podcast format so that you can have our latest episodes show up right on your audio device. Go to universetoday.com audio or universetoday.com video to get the one you want and I'll put the links in the show notes. And finally, here's a playlist starting with an hour-long interview that I did with Dr. Avi Loeb about all kinds of research that he's working on. Check it out.